Three organizations are suing the city of Tucson right now, claiming the city forced homeless camps from local parks and public spaces to make room for the annual Tucson Gem Mineral and Fossil Showcase. News for Tucson Shelley Jackson has the details. The parks provide shelter, they provide shade, um, they provide community, um, especially when it's cold. You know, there's uh, people can can go to the bathroom, they can get water in the bathrooms. Community Care Tucson is one of three groups suing the city. When people are, you know, kicked out of the parks, they don't know where else to go, especially when they're being kicked out at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. The suit is asking the city to temporarily stop enforcing the after hours and anti-camping laws. When you displace these people from where they're living at right now, because you guys have no beds, no facilities, no shelters available, where are you going to put the people? The suit also claims there are not enough low barrier shelter beds, fewer than 900, to accommodate the thousands of unhoused people in Tucson. City attorney Mike Rankin says the allegation in the complaint is untrue. It is in fact demonstrably false. City enforcement actions are based on established protocols that prioritize enforcement based on the threat to public safety. That homeless encampment protocol ranks camps in tiers from one to three. Tier three camps pose a significant health and safety risk. If it does, you know, meet that tier three status, um, they are, the, the camp does need to be removed, but, you know, sometimes they do pop back up just a little bit down the road. Reporting from Midtown, Shelley Jackson, News 4, Tucson.